Does menopause cause bloating? Yes, it does. I'm gonna show you why and what you can do about menopausal bloating. Bloating is something that women deal with throughout their reproductive year, through perimenopause and some into postmenopause. But the hormonal shift in menopause contributes to bloating, even if you've never had bloating before. First of all, let's talk about what bloating is. Bloating is when you experience water retention and you feel like you have a really full belly. You can also feel bloated or swollen in your fingers, your feet, your ankles, your legs. Most of the time, we think of bloating, we think of just our stomach. But the water retention that accompanies these hormonal changes can actually be anywhere in your body. It can be in your extremities. In fact, you can even feel bloated in your face, especially underneath your eye. So this extra water retention is actually due to the hormone. Now, when you're younger, it's because you have lots of estrogen on board and you'll notice some bloating during your menstrual cycle or premenstrually. And that's because progesterone tends to upregulate estrogen receptors. So there's more estrogen on board and you may see some more bloating right before your period, all the way during your period, sometimes a little bit afterwards. And that's pretty common. When you're, go you're menopausal, that's not really what's going on. Contributes to the bloating in menopause, it still has to do with estrogen. But even though your estrogen levels are so much lower in menopause, you're still estrogen dominant. You have more estrogen than progesterone. It starts in premenopause or perimenopause when your hormone levels start to drop, specifically progesterone. They're falling way faster than your estrogen levels are. So your tendency is to hold on to the water. Estrogen makes your tissues juicy by attracting water into your cells, which you want. In order to have healthy eyes and healthy gums and healthy teeth and healthy tissues, you need juicy cells. If water can't be released because you don't have enough progesterone, progesterone tends to create a diuretic effect. When you're going, you're gonna retain a lot more fluid in your tissues and your bowels even swell up, which gives you the abdominal bloating. Your breasts swell from fluid in your tissues. Your fingers will look like sausages. Your feet will be swollen. You may even be wearing a bigger shoe size because you're swollen all the time. Your ankles are swollen so much so that your socks create lines or dents in your ankles. That's because you have much more estrogen on board than progesterone. Now, you're still estrogen deficient, so you can have bloating and hot flashes at the same time. I know, it's a pain. But your estrogen dominance is in the sense that you have more estrogen than you do have progesterone. So one of the best ways to deal with bloating in menopause is to use a natural diuretic, something like uva ursi. It can be taken as a tea or in a capsule form. It is kind of a natural diuretic effect, but what really helps is to use bioidentical progesterone. You can actually get it over the counter and it's safe to use by itself. So you can actually help to reduce some of that bloating and the water retention by balancing out the estrogen dominant. So the water retention in menopause, it is treatable and it's not something that's gonna last forever if you don't treat it. It can just be really annoying. The other thing that can help if you're really eating a standard American diet, which is really high in sodium, then reducing your salt or sodium levels will really help to reduce the water retention. And drink lots of water, which sounds counterintuitive, but water helps to flush your tissue. And that can actually really be helpful. I like to add a little lime juice or lemon juice to the water and that makes it more cleansing for my tissues and my liver. Then, make sure you're getting enough sleep. Well, your kidneys and your liver need a break. So when you're resting, when you're sleeping, your whole body gets to gently detox and pull some of that extra fluid out. And the very best thing to help with the bloating and the water retention is to exercise. The more you move your muscles, better your circulation is, and the more you're going to be able to pull out that retained fluid out of your tissues and pull it back into your bloodstream so that you can actually urinate it out through your kidneys. Now, you may notice, even with exercise, that you get a little bit of swelling in your hands and fingers. While you're exercising, that is not uncommon because they're dependent, meaning they're lower than your heart. But after, when you're done exercising, it should go down. Your rest of your body will be feeling less bloated, your legs will be less swollen, your belly will be less swollen, even your face will be less swollen. If you have any other tips, I'd love to hear about them. Place them in the comments below and join us in the conversation in our hormone support group. You can access it through our Hormone Reboot training. It's totally free. Check out my next video for more great health tips in menopause.